Um, this is for the shy and the stuck entrepreneur. Uh, the reason why I did this particular scope because there are a lot of entrepreneurs that are shy, just shy by nature. And oftentimes they are in the shadows of those entrepreneurs that are more out front and more brash and more um, outgoing, or at least they appear to be outgoing and just really dynamic in their approach. And, and yet there's the shy entrepreneur or the introvert or even those entrepreneurs that are stuck that are shrinking even further because they see all these dynamic men and women getting out front and letting their light shine and they tend to shrink even more or get a little more timid and um and so that's okay what i want you to know is you don't have to be that way if that's not who you are naturally if that is not your natural way of being in this world it's okay um, some people are more softer and gentler than others and there's nothing wrong with those that are more out there and more brash and bold and direct it's absolutely nothing wrong with them too it's just that everyone has their own way some people are soft-spoken some people are loud some people are more demure some people are you know very direct so be proud first of all know that it's nothing wrong with you that you can be a shy entrepreneur you can be a quiet entrepreneur entrepreneur you just have to still get yourself out there in your own way in a different way that resonates with you and so um, and then there are um, a lot of shy shyer entrepreneurs tend to be stuck more they tend to be stuck in their own heads about what they want to do and what they should do how to do it when to do it and they often miss opportunities to go out and let their light shine and be out there and take advantage of different opportunities so they are they have a lot of missed opportunities where someone may have asked them to come out and speak at a school set in a school setting or at a church and someone may have asked them present at a conference or a workshop or with teens and maybe you came up with an excuse that you couldn't go that something happened in your family or you didn't have enough money um, you will come up with a reason to have a missed opportunity because you feel stuck and you feel blocked by your own inner dialogue that's holding you back. So I like to put the shy and the stuck entrepreneur in the same category. And yet you can be stuck and not be shy, you know, and you can be shy and not be stuck. But those are the two people that I wanted to speak to today and um, just let you know that there is a village of us out there like that. I could be a little on the shy side and then I can be a little out there myself. My voice, sometimes I'm a little soft-spoken and sometimes I can be very powerful in my message. And so I understand both sides. I understand the shy. I was actually very shy growing up um, for many, many, many years. And some people are like, you were shy. And I'm like, well, yeah, I was actually. Um, I mean, painfully shy to the point where my mother had to force me to talk. Um, and so, but I went through that. And so I still have uh, a shy streak, but, and so something happened to my phone just now. So anyway, um, so what I wanted to do and what I have done is I created a village, a village of women entrepreneurs. Some of them are just moms and some of them are in business. Some of, some of them are in business for themselves and some of them still work for other people. And I've created a Facebook village of women that are shy and or stuck. Um, or have some mental blocks about, you know, what they want to do, what they were put on this earth to do, what their mission is, what they were, you know, born to do, what were they cut out to do. Um, and I want to help you to get past that and know that you have a village of supported people that may be more in alignment with how you think and how you process information. Um, like I said, we can't all be out there bold and brash and on the front line and I admire that but that's not all that's not everybody and and it's okay if you're soft it's okay if you're you're shy it's okay if you're an introvert it's okay if you like to be in the in the back but you still have a mighty mission you still have things that you want to get out in the marketplace there are still things that you want to express to people and and there's tons and tons and tons of women just like you and so my Facebook group uh, it's called a single bangle does not jingle. A single bangle does not jingle. And the reason why I called it that is one, um, that is a famous African proverb that says, if you have on one bangle, what happens to your one bangle? Nothing, right? It doesn't make a pretty jingly sound. 
So you need multiple bangles to help you to make your jingly sound. And so this group is about uh, women in this village bumping together, bumping um, against one another to force ourselves to make our jingly sound. And so I always like to ask people, what is your jingly sound? What is your melody? What is the cacophony that is you? What is your, uh, what is your sound? What is your music? And so um, on the Facebook village, in our Facebook village, again, it's called A Single Bangle Does Not Jingle. And it's for the entrepreneur that feels stuck, but you have gifts, you have talents, you have you have um, unique abilities that you want to manifest, that you want to bring out um, in to the world so that we can all benefit from the awesomeness that is you. But you just feel, sh you feel stuck and you feel shy. And so... I want us to undergird one another, support one another, uplift one another, and feel good about what we bring to this world. You were born to be a creator. All of us, we have creative juices flowing through us. You were born to be a creator by a creator. And so I want you to recognize that and stand in your own light, in your own softness, in, in your own divinity, um, and be okay with that. Um, and just because you're stuck does not mean you'll be stuck forever. It just means that right now you're feeling stuck and you may need a certain type of group um, or interaction to get you unstuck. And so I would encourage you to check out my, my group, uh, Single Bangle Does Not uh, Jingle. And if you know me, I always wear my bangles because they're symbolic of how we need one another. We need a community, we need a group, we need a village to help propel us to the next level. And so I look forward to seeing all of you. Once again, my name is Gina Golden. I'm your inner coach and I had a great time and thank you for joining me today. Take care. And oh, and thank you. If you are um, looking at this as a replay, please feel free to share it. I would like to get other um, entrepreneurs just like you that may be stuck or shy or introverted um, to check me out and let's support one another. Take care, have a wonderful day.